Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna challenge the Great Count. This is the party we're gonna bring in and hopefully we can kill him and get rid of that boss because, you know, he's there for that. He, he's there to die. So we're gonna see if we can kill him nice and easy. So the thing he's gonna do on uh, basically the first turn because he's gonna do a preemptive pre strike. He's gonna drain the MP of everybody and uh, we basically have to get back up nice and slowly. The most important thing, if you're able to do it, you're gonna have to break his attack and magic. This way, you're gonna mitigate a lot of the damage that your party's gonna be taking. So right here, drains the MP, he puts charm on our boy uh, Ace right here, but that doesn't matter. All we have to do on this turn, basically we're gonna block with everybody. So defend with everybody and hopefully your party can survive that attack that he's gonna do. So Ramza, please don't die. Ramza died, which is not that great. But on the next turn, what he's gonna do? He's gonna attack. Uh, he's gonna do insta death on the highest attacking unit of your party. So right here, what we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna buff our party up. So we're gonna get some MP back up, just like that. And also, we're gonna do impregnable stance. Boom. Ayaka is gonna cast three rays on our boy Yo. Because we're going to need that for him to come back to life. Just like that here. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. So on this turn, we're going to go for a re-raise right here. And we're going to go for a nice big heal on the whole party. We're going to go break the attack and magic. This is really important, guys. Because we're going to be taking a lot less damage. And make sure that your healer and uh, even uh, Nicole, if possible, they have status immunity uh, resistance. Status ailment actually resistance and uh, mr heal right here you know what let's uh dish out some damage servant of the blade just for fun see how much damage we can do so uh, they're both equipped with light weapons which is going to make things a little bit easier to make them chain up together and also the good thing with ace is going to be able to get some mp back for the whole party and also imperil light resistance by 75 percent which is no joke so on this turn right here we're going to go for a nice uh full life on our boy Mr. Tank right here because he's gonna he's gonna have to he's gonna have to be back up and uh, I think we could go for a nice Karaja or actually maybe a bigger Karaja right here boom we're gonna go for this right here so get him back to life and uh, what I'm gonna do with Ace I'm gonna cast Charm Resistance because I want to make sure my party is gonna be resistant to Charm because it can screw up your party a little bit also Confusion Resist can make your party uh, a little bit harder to deal with but for now all we're gonna do link stance uh, get some MP for the party soul full stance and we're just gonna do this and with our chainers right here let's see how much MP we get back up uh, we can maybe chain them up together just see how much damage we can do right here so BAM let's see how much damage we do show me the damage there you go. Alright, 71%. This is looking really, really good. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, when you hit 50%, the threshold, this is actually where he's going to go a little bit rampage. So we want to control the damage and hopefully we can get our Esper uh, before 50%. Because uh, what we need to do, because I forgot to say, Evoke an Esper, no items, no limit burst, and complete the quest are the main things to do. Uh, our MP is looking pretty, pretty good. Turn 4, we're still looking good. So all I'm going to do... I'm going to go for Confusion Resist on this turn right here. So this is the one thing Ace is going to be going back and forth. Uh, Charm Resistance, Confusion Resistance, uh, most of the things that he's going to be doing. So on this turn, we're going to go Stone Throw. We're going to draw 100% of the attacks towards him. Ayaka is going to go for a nice re-raise. And I want to see how our HP is looking actually. HP is looking pretty, pretty good. So we're going to go re-raise on Mercenary Ramza. And we're going to go for a re-raise on Ayaka. Just like that. And Mr. Nicole. You're going to get some MP back to the whole party. And also, you know what? Uh, one thing. I want to make sure that, you know what? We're taking less damage. Uh, do we have reduced damage? Yes, we do have reduced damage. So we're just going to buff our defense and spirit right now. To make sure we're taking less and less damage. And with these characters right here, I'm going to go for a single regular attack with Yo. And because I have nothing to do with Orlando, you know what? We're just going to break the attack and magic one more time. We're going to make sure that this stays up as much as possible. 
because he's gonna do less MP drain, he's gonna do less damage to the party, and uh, you know, less damage, more chance of surviving, which is also really, really great. And the one turn that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to dish out as much as damage as possible, is the turn where I'm gonna use uh, Ace to imperil Light Resistance by 75%. But other than that, uh, we're still looking good on the on the Charm Resist and the Confusion Resist, which is really, really nice. So we're gonna go right here. Let's see how much MP we can get back up for the party. 100 MP, which is really, really good. Uh, turn 5. Our boy here is going to get targeted by uh, the boss and uh, we have re-raise on him which is really really good. With Nicole, you know what, we're going to get impregnable stance right here and uh, we're going to get some MP back up for the whole party, nice and slowly. We want to make sure that this stays up, Ayaka is going to cast some uh, re-raises on the party to make sure that everybody stays alive. So we're going to go right here. We're gonna go for a nice re-raise on Nicole and maybe a nice re-raise on, you know what, on Ace. Because we, we can we can deal with uh, our damage dealers being down a little bit. That doesn't matter. Mercenary Ramza, I'm sorry boy, you're gonna die. We're just gonna go for one more stone throw. Uh, with him here, I'm gonna go for one Divine Ruination and I'm gonna go for a single regular attack with heal. I wanna make sure it doesn't go down to 50%. So Ramza gets targeted, our boys gets attacked, so th the second he kills your character, he's gonna get his HP back up, but that doesn't matter because we're gonna bring him down nice and slowly one more time, alright? So all we have to do right here with Ayaka, our party is looking really really good, we made it back nice and easy, we're gonna go for another re-raise on our boy Ramza, and we're gonna start casting some uh, heals on the party, just like that. Our boy Ace, he's gonna go back to Charm Resist, which is gonna be really, really important. Boom. Nicole will buff up uh, right here, Mercenary Ramza, and we're gonna get Impregnable Stance for the whole party. One more time. We wanna make sure that Ramza has that on, on at all time. Sorry. And uh, you know what? Here, I'm just gonna go for a regular crush weapon so we're gonna break his attack and magic one more time and hopefully we can get some orbs to drop nothing here that doesn't matter and mr hiyo regular single attack trying to get some orbs to drop as much as possible that's the the thing that takes a little bit longer in this fight is just making sure that the orbs keep dropping over and over to get those esper orbs ramza yes there you go one esper can we get another okay we're good we're good with that so on this turn our party is looking really, really good. Everything is pretty much up. So, uh, I don't think I can kill him in one turn. So, what I'll do... Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> I'm gonna go... I'm gonna use heal. Yeah, we're gonna use heal. We're gonna do... Cast the Esper. So, we're gonna cast Ifrit. Bam. Let's see how much damage we do. Not that much. With uh, our boy Orlando, we're gonna go Divine Ruination, try to do a little bit more damage. And on this turn, we're gonna go for Confusion Resist. Just like that. Let's see. Let's see who doesn't have a re-raise on them. He has a re-raise. She has, she has re-raise? She doesn't have a re-raise. No re-raise. No re-raise, that doesn't matter. Re-raise it's still up, and re-raise it's still up on Ramza. So we're gonna cast re-raise on her, and we're gonna go for a full heal. And hopefully on next turn, we can kill the Great Count. Let's see if we're gonna be able to do it. Uh, also guys, things to remember, uh, the boss has 780 spirit, which is really, really high, and uh, basically 70 defense, so you guys bring sh uh, make sure you bring physical damage dealers where you're going to be able to dish out a lot more damage to the boss. I uh, just want to make one more thing here. We're still drawing the attacks. Yep, yeah, so we're going to go for AoE cover right here with him. And hopefully on the next turn, we're going to be able to bring the boss down to 0%. With that 75% 75, uh, 75 imperil, we should be dishing out a lot of damage. So let's see, let's see, let's see how everything goes. Can we get him under? That's the real question, guys. Can we do it? So we're gonna go Servant of the Blade. Right here, we're gonna go Divine Ruination. 
Ace is gonna imperil by 75% and let's see if we can kill the boss. I want to make sure I did everything. Evoke the Esper, no items, no limit burst. Let's see if we can do this nice and easy. Bam. They're being boosted as much as possible. 30%, 0% and the boss is done. Guys, basically the things to remember in that fight, slowly build back your team back up. I know I've been saying back a lot. So build your team back up. Break the attack and magic. The second the attack and magic is broken, guys, you're going to be able to survive the fight a lot easier. Don't bring him down under 50% or else you're going to hit that threshold. Go nice and slowly and the second you're ready, dish out as much as damage as you can and you're going to get him down just like we did in this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe down below. Leave a like on the video. Let me know. In the comment section, how did you beat that boss and if this video was helpful for you guys. On that note, guys, have a nice weekend, have a nice week, and I'm out. Peace!